So today when I set out to make this video, I thought it was gonna be a normal review of the master air screw propellers for the Mavic Air 2. And it started off like that. I did a flight test with just the stock propellers on the Mavic Air 2, just to get a control. And then I was gonna put on the propellers from Master Air Screw that were just released. And uh, it, there was a lot of anticipation for these props. A lot of people wanted to see these props for the Mavic Air 2 because uh, Master Air Screw has a proven track record. I mean, they've been making these things for They've been making propellers for almost, I don't know how long, 40 years, like since the early 70s. So, so I thought it was just gonna be a normal review, but it turned into finding out that maybe they didn't do things right this time. Um, and I don't know why, like maybe COVID had something to do with it, but I noticed right away when I took one set out of the box that they just didn't look right. They're, they didn't, the, the quality control wasn't there, like like they normally have. Like some of the edges on a couple of the propellers were not finished. It was almost like they were cut with a dull blade or something like that. And I thought, well, maybe they maybe they just changed their manufacturing process for these propellers. And, um, and then I flew with them and they performed okay. Um, I thought it would be a lot better as far as the flight time, but it didn't. And I'll show you here later on in the video um, but the stock propellers actually did better with flight time. And then I was editing this video and I noticed something and I'm like, that does not look right. And so I did some more testing. And so that's what this video is going to be about. It's not, it's not a review. It, it's kind of a review, but it's a, uh, it's a discovery of these propellers. And now I've reached out to master air screw. I've emailed them. It is the weekend. So it's probably going to uh, be a couple days before I hear from them. But uh, I know they're going to fix it. Whatever the problem is, I know it will be fixed because they know what they're doing. I just feel like they rushed it this time. So, uh, so I'm going to cut the video right in the middle. And I'm just going to start from where I was just about to test the Master Air Screw propellers on the Maverick Air 2. And then uh, we'll go through that. And then I'll cut back in here to talk a little bit more about this. So let's get into it. But yeah, I just noticed that there's a little bit of... Like, it, like almost like it didn't get shaved off all the way on the edge of the propeller. So, so we'll see if it affects the performance. I don't think it will, but, uh, but just something that I noticed. And if you don't do notice that, um, I would just send them an email and say, Hey, I got props. They're not cut all the way or, or if it's even going to make a difference, I don't know, but send them an email and they're really good. The customer service is pretty good about replacing things if it's not working. So, so anyway, let's get it up and, uh, let's listen to it. Let's fly it and see how it does. Hey, before we launch here, I would like to remind you, if you're getting any value from this video, go ahead and click on that thumbs up button. And then also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. You can go ahead and browse the channel, see if you find something of interest or value here. And I would love to have you join the community. We're growing pretty fast and I'm pretty happy about that. So I appreciate every single one of you being here. So let's get this up and listen to it. It looks really good. Those orange props look awesome. Okay, I want to show you something that I noticed when I was editing this video, when I was cutting that part of the video. I didn't notice this when I was flying, but I really noticed it in the video. Watch this. I have the Master Air Screw props on there. And also, if you're going to ask, I know you're going to ask, do you have the latest firmware? I just updated the firmware to the newest uh, Mavic Air 2 firmware. So I have the latest firmware on there right now. It did it with the old firmware and it's going to do it right now. So just check it out. Watch the drone. See how it's vibrating and moving? Look at how it's shaking back and forth. Look at that. Okay, that, that's not right. That's not right, you guys. So I was on the MavicPilots.com uh, forum and there was one person that posted, I, I already showed you, I had a little bit of flange on there and it looks like they didn't completely cut these blades i don't think these blades are balanced so let me show you i'm just going to put on the stock propellers and just show you the difference just to show you that it doesn't do that with the stock propellers okay and then also i know you're going to ask i have them on the right propellers i have them on the correct propellers so okay so here's stock propellers dji stock Perfect, solid as rock. No vibration, no shaking, no nothing. 
Okay, now check this out. I'm gonna put the blue ones on. Vibrating, not as bad as the orange. Okay, let's try it again. And there it goes, starting to vibrate over to the right a little bit. Take off. That time it actually jumped off the table a little bit, or off the deck, excuse me. So the blue are be seem to be better than the orange. Um, my drone is fine. As you can see, it worked perfect with the stock propellers but see look at how that jumps i know it does that when you have the blades when you have the propellers closed it's not supposed to do that when when they're open so so i don't know uh i don't know what to tell you guys uh like this is kind of disappointing because this is not characteristic of a master air scoop product but i have to share it with you because i don't think that's right um I don't know what they did with these props, but they're not like the other ones, like my Mavic Pro, my Mavic 2 Pro ones are perfect. They sound better, they're quieter. And so this is gonna cut this video short. I didn't notice any of that when I was flying, uh, but when I watched it on the video, I'm like, boy, that's really shaking when I, um, when I started the motors uh, with the orange props on there. And then I didn't notice anything when I was flying, but maybe that has something to do with the reason of why the flight time was less like here's the flight times, I'll put them up on the screen. And then also the speed was about the same, uh, but, but maybe that has to do with why the flight times weren't as good with the Master Air Screw for me, because some of the other reviews that I've watched, they've gotten a little more flight time on there. So, so I'm not quite sure. I have sent an email, uh, like I said, to Master Air Screw. So hopefully they'll get back to me. And if they do, I'll just update everyone in the comments down below. So check the comments just to keep updated on this. Also in the description, I'll put that. But um, but for right now, I can't recommend these propellers based on my test today. Now I'm gonna do some more testing. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe it's just my drone, but I don't think so because everything works perfectly with the stock propellers on there. So I really wanted to be sure, like I really wanted to make sure because I, you know, I love Master Air Screw. Like they, those propellers are what made me fly the Mavic Air. Like I never flew my Mavic Air because it was so stinking loud, I hated it. And so it just sat in the bag. And then when I got the propellers from Master Airscrew for it, it like, it changed my Mavic Air world. So I flew my Mavic Air a lot more because of these propellers. And so I wanted to be sure that, you know, maybe, maybe it was my drone, maybe the conditions or whatever. So what I did is I did it a few more times, like probably 12 times I tested the propellers outside on the deck, on the table, same result every time. And the blue propellers, were a little bit better at first, but then there was one time where I started it up with the blue set on and it popped a wheelie, like it popped up in the air, like about a half an inch and then went back down and then I did the vibration thing again. So what I did is I brought everything into my studio, I put it down here and I tested like every, not every, but almost every variation that I could think of. I just switched the props out. I put you know, one prop on one side and one on the other, and I switched them, and then I put some blues on and some oranges on. Um, I left all three oranges on, and then I just took one blue and one all around. So I tried every different setup that I could, every different variation of the propellers, and they all had the same result. They all had so much vibration that the drone would move on the table. It would just rotate, it would vibrate and rotate. And then I, a couple of times I put on the stock propellers again, just to make sure, and with the stock propellers on, it does not move like a millimeter. Like when it starts up, you know, there's a little tiny jump, but then when it vibrates, or excuse me, when it runs, it doesn't vibrate at all. So it's rock solid. So then I'm thinking, well, maybe this is something I didn't notice before on a Master Air Screw prop. And so what I did is I got out my Mavic 2 Pro and just tested that on my table. And again, it jumps a little bit when you start it up, but rock solid. So the propellers for the Mavic 2 Pro from Master Air Screw are amazing. For my Mavic Pro, they were amazing. I haven't flown it in quite a while. The Mavic Air ones were amazing. Everything was perfect. And the pitch was less. I got better flight time. 
um, a little bit faster. I don't really care. What's the difference if you're going 40 or you're going 41 miles an hour? Who cares? But um, but for me, it was the pitch. Like it just sounds so much better. So uh, and that is one thing that I noticed with these. There really isn't a whole lot of difference on the pitch. It's a little bit lower. But I don't, I don't think it's as significant as the other ones. And I think the reason is um, DJI did it so well with the Mavic Air 2 that there really wasn't much room for improvement. And so I kind of feel like Master Airscrew was like reaching on this one. Like, oh, we got to get some props out for the Mavic Air 2. So let's just throw these out there. And I hate to say that because I know that their quality control normally is awesome. But this just isn't it. Like... Like they dropped the ball on this one. I hate to say it. And uh, and I know, like I said, I know they're going to fix it. They're a great company. They back their stuff really well. So if you did get these, um, just send them an email. You know they're going to fix it every single time. I guarantee you that they will fix it. This is my guarantee. I don't know. <laughs> putting them on the spot. But, uh, but they've been very good about that. I know I've seen it. I read it on the forums. People say they'll contact them. They'll get back to them. And they'll fix it. Now, again, we're in covid and they're probably short on staff right now. So just keep that in mind. There is a little bit of leniency for that. So I just had to put the word out there. I would hold off on these propellers right now. Stick with the um, stick with the OEM ones from DJI. Uh, a couple other things. I did calibrate my IMU. I know some of you are going to ask me that. Did you calibrate everything? Yes, everything's calibrated. Latest firmware. Like everything is as it should be with the Mavic Air 2. So I did everything as correctly Um as I could. I was very diligent in doing that because I want, I know you guys are going to ask all those questions. So yeah, so that's my experience with these propellers. Anyway, let's, uh, let's finish up this video. So hit the thumbs up if I gave you something of value today. I think I did. So, so I appreciate that. Also subscribe if you're not. I'd love to have you join the community to uh, see more videos like this. I love to do testing and, uh, and bring the results to you guys. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed. I got to say that because, uh, because I love these propellers on my other drones. So, uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens. But thanks for watching the entire video today, everyone. Have a great day. As always, fly safe and fly smart.